Back to the channel if you're here you're here either for something that's exercise science related you're here for some type of form of medicine or you're here because you literally want to be spiritually free you want to be able to tap into yourself that much more for this particular video we're going to be talking about hanging and the benefits i want to just shout out some right off the bat why you might even be here. If you're experiencing back pain, if you're experiencing shoulder pain, if you're experiencing a lack of blood flow, if you find yourself with migraines or massive headaches, if you find yourself wanting to have more grip strength, if you find yourself, if you're starting to get the point, hanging is a multi-beneficial exercise, something that you should do. What's one of the biggest things that hanging does? Especially inverted, you won't see me inverted, that's when my head is down here and my feet is up here and I'm hanging upside down. But this we're just gonna be talking about actually hanging, which also has plenty of videos. But when you find a way to hang upside down, it increases the circulation, especially inverted, because all the blood that's pooling at your feet, it starts to have a moment to trickle down more towards your brain. And when it gets to your brain, guess what? You get more oxygenated blood, oxygenated blood. You need oxygen to your brain. You starting to understand? Not only that, but the blood that pools down at the bottom of our feet, our legs, our calves, it starts to cause edema. We're always on our feet. If we walk on our hands, we have a different problem, but that's not the case, at least not for all of us. Really, I'm excited to keep going forward. For now, we're gonna just jump into it. Why the back pain, by the way? Just in case you were wondering, why back pain? Why does it relieve back pain and increase grip strength? Well, back pain, because the vertebrae really stacks up on top of each other. You carry backpacks, you carry one-sided backpack, you carry a purse, you're carrying your body weight. It only takes 10 pounds of pressure for you to throw your back out. But you're already well over that 10 pounds, are you not? So when you hang, what happens is these discs that are compressed have an opportunity to just rip apart, rip apart, rip apart. And even 30 seconds starts to allow that to happen. And when that happens, now your muscle is no longer pulling on you in a negative way. Because what happens when your spine is cramped, then your tendons are kind of starting to get in the way and they don't have any room to do what they do, connecting the bone to the tissue. So when that happens, now you're gonna get your muscles to pull. And you're gonna feel like, oh my God, my muscles are tight. That tightness starts to cause very limited range of motion. And that's just another reason there. Shoulders, okay, obviously, because I'm hanging from the shoulders, right? If I'm up, I'm hanging from here, my legs are just hanging down. Just go ahead, stay tuned, just stay tuned. I'll be checking in with the benefits of hanging all right you're gonna get not only more grip strength which will help you especially if you're somebody that likes to be in the gym you do a lot of pulling whether you're doing pull-ups whether you're doing rolls whatever you're doing in the gym huge to hang and to release some compression now let's say you're not in the gym this video still applies to you why because if you have lower back pain you're gonna want to do some hanging if upper back pain you're gonna to wanna to do some hanging. If you sit at a desk all day long and you type for 40 hours a day, even though it's not that many hours in a day, you're gonna to wanna to do some hanging. It's great for shoulder mobility. If you ever had any rotator cuff issues, any surgeries or anything that pertains to your labrum tearing, obviously you're gonna to wanna to use your better judgment and do it at the right time. If you're not clear to doing the exercises, obviously don't do this yet, okay? I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm telling you that when you are at a place where you're ready, 
hanging will be instrumental for your recovery and also just for your spinal health. That's one of the major reasons. Spinal health is huge. Most Americans especially have a terrible spinal health uh, condition from the sitting, from uh, even if you're a construction worker and you're doing a lot of lifting, carrying things on your back. Um, if you're not a construction worker, you're just carrying a lot of things on your back. Children in backpacks, if you're overweight, hanging is going to be, again, instrumental. And if you're looking for more benefits, go ahead, drop in the comments, and I'll go ahead and release another video for you right now. I recommend at least seven minutes of hanging a day. That hanging does not need to be uh, consecutive, all right? Especially in the beginning, it's going to be very tough. You can find yourself with uh, a towel or something wrapped around the grip to give you a little bit of uh, comfort on your fingers. It's not very comfortable in the beginning, but it gets easier and easier and easier, I promise you. And you're gonna have less pain. You're gonna have stronger shoulders. It's gonna improve each and every one of your workouts. This is Pernell Bobby checking in. I got this from Simit. Simit, thank you. I've been hanging every day, trying to get up to that seven minutes. Again, accumulatively 30 seconds here, a minute and a half here. Every day, you're gonna feel like a brand new person. You won't even need to go to the chiropractor as much. Love. Thanks for checking in. Subscribe to this video. I love you, love you, love you.